Meanwhile, students are bearing the brunt of the strike by the three teacher unions as they have been left frustrated in various schools nationwide. City News visited several schools in the Ashanti region and observed the absence of teachers except for head teachers who confirmed that they were keeping the students for a few hours before releasing them to go home. City News' Ashanti region correspondent Doris Lonta has the details. The strike by the three teacher unions the Ghana National Association of Teachers, the National Association of Graduate Teachers, and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, demanding better conditions of service, has left students stranded as they idle about without teachers. Though the head teachers won't speak to City News on record, they express their concerns about the impact of the strike on academic activities. They also noted a significant reduction in student attendance. One head teacher who agreed to speak did so on condition of anonymity. This morning the teachers are not around. So far I'm the only one here and I'm the headmistress. I'm supposed to come around to check and then take care of whoever that comes to school. I mean the children. And when I came, few of them are here. That's why I'm here to at least take care of them and protect them. Then when it's time for me to close them, then they'll close and then go home. So when do you intend closing them? Well, when I wait till around 12.30 to 1, and then no sign of a teacher uh, being present, and I'll just close and then Despite an order by the National Labor Commission for the teachers to call off the strike, the three unions remain adamant. In an interview with City News, the Ashanti Regional Chairman of Nagrat, Francis Yao Ousu, insisted that the teacher unions will not call off the strike until their concerns are addressed. Why did you refuse to call off the strike despite the order by the National Labor Commission? Um, we gave them, we just intimated, we gave them our, uh, we preempted them later, uh, before the strike, that they should meet us so we start a, we start a negotiation. Other than that, we go on strike. So I, I don't know what else they were expecting. They were aware we have given them those uh, indicators that we had a press conference, we gave them letters that we want to uh, go on strike if they don't meet our, our demand. to me. And now that we are on strike, who is to blame? Is it them or us? The regional chairman also noted that their members are complying with the directive confirming City News' observation at the schools. The nationwide strike was declared on Wednesday, March 20, 2024. Meanwhile, the executives of the three teacher unions are to meet the National Labor Commission to deliberate on the issue.